Hold on. I have... Oh my god, my hand is so cold. Alright, we're going to cook up some of the smelt I got from the other day. Um, back at home now. So the first thing you need to do is take some oil. Grab this oil here. Turn on your stove. And just fill the bottom of the pan with oil. Let that heat up. What you're also going to want to do here is get some your fish out. You know, just pat them dry, make sure they're nice and dry. I always sprinkle a little pepper on there. A little bit of seasoning salt right onto the fish. We'll set those aside. Now, in your bowl, you want one cup of flour. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. We'll do one teaspoon seasoning salt. These are estimates. Tablespoon garlic powder. Or whatever you have, a little bit less than a tablespoon. And a tablespoon of paprika. Or about. Also wanna we'll mix up our egg here at the same time about. Crack an egg in a separate bowl. Now we'll mix up our ingredients first. Mix up our egg. We want this to clump up with the egg and mix it up as good as possible in here. Maybe there's something better to do it with than a whisk. And this is actually hot. We're going to take it off the heat. Too hot, but it'll stay hot in that pan. Then we gotta get our beer here. Normally you'd probably do this with bush. All I have is some summer shandy, so we'll see how that works out. Mix the, that into the batter. Nice dark color here. Take our fish. Right into the batter. I'm going to take them out, put them back on here, let them drip for a second. Now you can use more beer to make your batter a little thinner. Okay, put them directly in there. We'll cook them on each side for about a minute or so.
Yeah, it's still in that 340 range in the center here. About 350 is what you want. As you saw from the video earlier, all I did was cut off their head, gut them, clean them. We're cooking them with the bones and everything. And when we fry them, the bones will soften up and you'll be able to eat them straight away. There you go. That's all there is to it. All right, bars, let's try them out. Okay. Grab one, they might be a little hot. All right, try it, what do you think of it? It's really good. Good, all right. Very hot though. Ooh, it is hot, it's really good. Uh, it just flakes. This is some good smelt. <laughs> that looks kind of darky, doesn't it? Alright, next I'll show you how to freeze some smelt. Oh my god, my hand is so cold. Alright, next we're going to freeze these smelt we just caught. I'm going to do them in plastic bags and what we want to do is fill the bag with some water with the smelt in it and pack about as many as you want, um, you know, probably 10 per bag or so. Um, just make sure that the smelt is covered in water or touching plastic. You just don't want any air space. So as you can see here, what I'm going to do is about 9, 10 smelt per bag. I'm going to take the bag, just put them in there. Now we actually could do way more than 10 per bag, but I'm just going to try to get some smaller meals. You'll see they're totally covered in water. That's what you want. You don't really want any air in there. So we're going to try to squeeze some of this air out of here. And there you have it. We're going to stick that in the freezer just like that. I'm just doing 10 per bag. You could do as many as you wanted. If your family's bigger, um, obviously you could do more. The important thing is just getting the air out of there. You want the smell to be covered in water or at least just touching plastic, no air. So then we're going to freeze those and what you would do is thaw these out uh, before using them. It shouldn't take all that long, maybe overnight in the refrigerator. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video on how to cook smelt, clean smelt, um, how to freeze them, thank you for watching, it was a great time. We had a blast, went up to Lake Superior this uh, early this weekend, it was about three and a half hours away. Met some fun people up there. Yeah, we just got back, had to finish up the video. 
So thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you like what I'm trying to do here.